All right, good day everyone. <clears throat> Today uh, I'm going to present to you a little uh, project, well actually two little projects that I finished. Uh, one working with <clears throat> an Arduino and it's a uh, kind of a multi-in-one little uh, function little box. And this one has actually three things in. I still have uh, one more thing that I will add on to this one and we'll see how it goes for the rest. And so far, this uh, little magic box is a tachometer, a uh, thermometer, and an infrared contactless thermometer, and an amp meter that can go up to uh, 20 amps. <clears throat> and lovely little rotary, little uh, Nokia LCD screen, little box from the source. As you can see, the uh, IR LED right now is working for the tackle meter and I have some uh, random fan running here just to uh, show you and as you can see there's uh, three different reading there's RPS which stand for revolution per second the other RPM well revolution per minute and the number of blade this will actually uh, divide the count number by the number of blades so if you have something for example these little fan right here, oh, we don't really see, let me bring some light. Uh, this fan right here has five blade. I'll uh, stop it. It has five blade. So if I, you want to measure that, well, instead of doing the, the calculation yourself, the little program do it uh, for you. So, and this one I've put a little uh, white marker on because you can actually use a white marker. But uh, I think I uh, actually found out that the uh, IR sensor that I'm using on that one is uh, actually quite sensible, sen sensitive. So, uh, so I'm going to increase it to five. So five blade, and let me see if I can actually. Uh, get everything all right here we go as you can see the LED uh, at the end is actually blinking telling you that it's uh, reading and here we go we have the number of RPN which is well you know, of course if you play with it it changed but there's something homemade I'm actually quite satisfied with that thing I will actually have to add more uh, number to the RPM because uh, I have no idea how fast, uh, how much, uh, like how fast it can actually read. But you know that's going to be something to experiment uh, later on. And if I press it, it actually changed for the sensor temperature, and the rotary uh, itself actually uh, does something as you can see right now the numbers are changing quite fast and as you increase it it actually uh, increase the delay of the refresh rate for the screen so and uh, yeah it's a little warm in here but <laughs> whatever so if I put my hands right on front of it as you can see the target which is the, the sensor, the, the, the contactless sensor actually increase and if I put my hands on the sensor itself the temperature increase also so uh, this is actually quite nice and the other function is um, a little board that I got that actually reads the amperage and will output with no amps it will output uh, roughly half the power supply so that's why you actually see it uh, going up and down here I still have a little uh, adjustment to do on it and I added a little function that's well for now it's actually just the rotary encoder will uh, for the volts and the watt cons uh, power the, the actual watt that's going through everything so I have it set up here. I'm just gonna turn on this little power supply, bring the voltage, and I've set I've set the limit of my multimeter 
to uh, exactly one amp. So, well, okay, one one point oh three amps right here. And as you can see, it's actually not too bad for something that costs about two dollars. And if for whatever the voltage you want, for example, if we say we have about uh, five volts. and we have about 5.30 watt being consumed and if I increase a little bit the amperage the watt the wattage uh, wattage actually increase and the next function I'm just gonna remove that short circuit from my my power supply and the other function is uh, just to adjust the backlight itself so if you're in a very light uh, environment you actually don't need the light and if you're very blind you can actually go through full brightness the camera doesn't adjust very well but just um, eye it's actually very nice and those number is actually just a value of the um, output PW, uh, pulse width modulation that goes directly to the LED and I'm powering the uh, display on 5 volt. Uh, I know they're supposed to be run on 3 volts, but I did some tests with exactly that model, uh, the two models that I have for these screens. And on 3 volts, if I refresh the screen too many times, like right now it's actually refreshing as fast as the Arduino chip can go, uh, the screen was becoming all black. So, uh, I actually put it on 5 volt and it works perfectly well. Uh, the only thing is if I don't refresh it fast enough the screen becomes just a little bit dark like if we go here the refresh rate is about one one second uh, here well it will depend on the uh, fastest is a hundred millisecond refresh and then it increase whatever the uh, and here uh, we're about uh, uh, 50 uh, well 500 uh, millisecond so half a second for the refresh and you can see it just a little bit it's just a little dark but you know what I don't really care it works it works very well and of course while well, there's still place for improvement right now I'm still powering in my little netbook so there's some place for improvement and well it works. So for now, for a little uh, project that I build in in an evening, of course I fixed the uh, sensor and the LED uh, last night. They were GB well there, so they need a little time to fix. And I'm probably gonna put some black silicone around here to seal everything nice and remove the little screen protector. And the next thing I will do is grab myself uh, one more of these terminal posts right here and probably put it on this side <clears throat> and I'm gonna have the uh, voltmeter but the thing is uh, the uh, the Arduino chip itself have a, has an internal reference which will vary depending on the power supply so the, the downfall of that is if I have exactly 5 volt well my reading on the voltage will be accurate but if I have less, well, it will play and it will be something to play on a little later or probably just leave the box as it is. It's actually quite nice. And the program is about 9,230 byte, which is actually not too bad all the, all, out of 30K. So, uh, all right. And the, little, the other project is uh, something that I did with it at Tiny. And I'm using a little uh, RGB LED, and it's not much. And what the only thing I add, as you can see, it at flicker. And the first function is I can adjust only the red. And if I switch, I can adjust the green. And if I switch, I can adjust the blue. Of course, all three are on at the same time. And if I switch it again, only red is there. And as you reach the maximum, it will actually blink 
telling me that it's at the maximum. And if I click it one more time, it goes to the minimum uh, settings. And same thing for the green. And same thing for the blue, of course. And of course, well, you're going to wonder, uh, something is not really right in there because the at tiny only has two uh, output that you can use as PWM. But I've actually, I'm using right now a software uh, base pulse width modulation with the command uh, delay microsecond. And uh, it works. It, it has a little glitch here and there. Like, you don't really see it. But uh, the each each color will, when they're all on and on the lowest settings, they will actually just have a little bump of flickering and stuff like that. But for its purpose, that is just lighting a corner of the room when it's actually very dark, it works as very well. And, well... It always amazes kids to play with these. That's about it. I'm not going to go further in there. Of course, I'm always willing to share any codes. So if you have any question, just ask me and I'll be uh, glad to send you any emails regarding for that. All right. Have a good day.